The unknown is often where the greatest discoveries and the greatest triumphs of humanity happen. Live your faith, build your business, and change your world. This is Live, Build, Change. Hey, welcome back to the Live, Build, Change podcast. My name is Kerry Green. I am a retired pastor just here to help you think through what it might mean for you to live your faith in a more authentic, genuine way, to perhaps combine that with building a business, and then to change your world. You can find out the full story of how I'm trying to do this at livebuildchange.com. In today's episode, I want to talk to you just real briefly about why getting started is the hardest part. I mean, if you think about it, getting started is hard. You don't know what you think you need to know sometimes. There's lots of obstacles that could be in your way. There could be negative, what they call self-talk back in the back of your mind that's telling you you can't do this. But if you think about it, getting started is the most powerful thing we can do from our current vantage point. I mean, consider the significance of getting started with some of these things say, your New Year's fitness goals, a much-needed 12-step program that you might need to get into, a difficult conversation with someone you love, exploring why you feel physically under the weather, your financial situation, your marriage difficulties, a website, a blog, a product, a business that you've been considering. You see, there could be very powerful things that could happen simply because you decide to get started. You decide to get moving. What I want to ask is for you to consider this. Look in your own soul, look in your own heart of hearts and ask yourself, why do I find it so hard to get started? It's going to be different for every person. I think there are probably a lot of reasons and there's no way that I can hit all of them that are going to nail every specific person. But I can give you an idea of what I think one of the most powerful reasons for not getting started is, and that is that the present discomfort is more comfortable than the unknown that would have to come once you get started. I mean, it's a bit dysfunctional, but it's true for most of us. We tend to prefer something that isn't working, but is familiar to something that might work, but is unfamiliar. Did you get that? Let me say that again. We tend to prefer something that isn't working, but is familiar to something that might work, but is unfamiliar. I mean, we think routine is always our friend when sometimes it's our worst enemy and we need to break out of that routine and get moving in a different direction because sometimes that routine is nothing more than a bad habit that has come to roost and is dragging us down into a spiral of dysfunction. We believe often that what we know is better than what's unknown. But just think of all the significant happenings in history that would not have occurred if certain people had believed that, if Winston Churchill had believed that, if Christopher Columbus had believed that, if Magellan had believed that. The unknown is often where the greatest discoveries and the greatest triumphs of humanity happen. And we have got to change our thinking. And understand that sometimes the unknown is our friend. It's not our enemy. We sometimes rest in what is familiar, no matter how gut-wrenching it continues to be. I don't know all the dynamics that go into it, but I know often men or women who are in an abusive relationship and stay in that relationship longer and longer and longer than most of the people looking on believe they should do so because of this issue. They prefer something that isn't working because it's familiar rather than facing the fear of something different that could be hard, could have all kinds of danger, could have all kinds of risk, yet has the potential of changing their miserable situation into something much, much better. Deep down, I think we all know that we need to get started. We need to take the first steps toward changes that can bring about 
something different, something better, something we've always dreamed about but never believed could be real for someone like us. And I'm just here on this short episode to tell you, the first step, the first week of getting started on something new in your life is often the very hardest. And my encouragement to you is to push your way through it and get going. If you have not yet joined the Live, Build, Change Facebook community, hey, what are you waiting for, man? It's a group of Christ followers who are excited and eager to live out their faith in a more authentic way, to possibly build side income or businesses, and to change their world. All a bunch of like-minded people heading toward the same goal. Of course, it looks different for each person, and that's part of the beauty of it, is we get to synergize and work together from different perspectives to encourage, to pray for each other, and to enable each other in better ways. If you'd like to become a part of the Live, Build, Change Facebook community, you are invited. Go to livebuildchange.com slash FB for Facebook. Insert your email, you'll receive an invitation, and soon you'll be approved and part of the community. Thanks so much for listening to Live, Build, Change. God bless you. Go and change your world.